Okay, this video, you guys, is going to be about um, trying to find the proper protein moisture balance for your hair. Um, my hair in particular doesn't like protein that much, so apparently I'm just now learning this, so it's very dry and tends to snap off. So anyway, if you want to know the proper balance between protein and moisture, stay tuned. Let's get started. You know what? You are always a newbie in your journey. That's the one thing I love about the natural hair journey. Just when you think you know your hair, guess what? You find out you don't know your hair. So, anywho, my hair, you guys, has been feeling extremely dry for a while now. That's one of the reasons why I decided to start start the Hot Castor Oil Growth Challenge, which if you haven't joined, you should click. At the end of the video, there will be a link to join the challenge. There's a lot of girls doing it, and we're all like, loving it, and our hair is just responding so well. So... One of the reasons I started that was because I felt like my hair was just dry, dry, dry. And I was like, well, maybe I've slacked on my regimen. Let me get back on it. So I did the hot castor oil hair growth challenge. And even with um, co-washing and doing the castor oil and being in the dryer, it was still feeling really dry. So I was on one of my favorite hair boards chatting to some naturals and trying to figure out, hey, anybody have problems, dry hair, and... Talking to my channel, some of my subbies, thank you so much, Miss Tripp, Miss Tripp, um, one of my subbies, she said, hey, she was trying to get her protein uh, moisture balance restored, and that her, I think her Eco Styler gel had some protein in it, one of her wash and goes, and her hair was just like starting to dry a lot and break. So I checked the ingredients, sure did, right here, on what I used to co-wash my hair with. This is it. I just stopped like today and I love this conditioner I liked it but the the issue is for it with me is that it says it's VO5's moisture um, rising uh, conditioner strawberries and cream but it has wood soy milk protein it says rich formula two times stronger hair so I was co-washing with something that had protein in it then my leave-in or my deep conditioner that I was using was this and I don't know if you can see that. And I loved this too. A lot of organic ingredients, but one of the ingredients is soy protein. So essentially, I was co-washing with protein and then deep conditioning, getting under the dryer with more protein and wondering why my hair is so dry. <laughs> so, so I have switched it up. I haven't, I'm gonna go back to suave for a minute. I'm still looking for a moisturizing conditioner to co-wash with, but I know this one doesn't have any protein in it, and my, one of my hair mentors uses it. So I'm going to switch back to this until I can find another one to try that doesn't have any, you know, parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, you know, cones, or protein in it. So, but I'm, I, I just co-washed my hair with this, so it's nice and clean. And I'm going to try this. The Shea Moisture. I don't know if you guys can see that. Shea Moisture. I went to a natural um, a natural rating website where you basically, all these naturals in the community, they rate the best products and they rate the products and they tabulate them every year and give you the top 10. And so this was voted number one as a deep conditioner. And the other thing that was voted as a leave-in is number one I already used, which is the Kinky Curly Leave-In. So I'm going to try this because it doesn't have any protein. It's supposed to be a moisturizing conditioner, which they also say that on hairlista.com, I think. Um, and then I'm going to deep conditioner with this. And then every other week, I'll alternate. So one week, I'm going to deep condition. And the second week... I'm just going to do their leave-in. And I'm going to see, try that for two or three weeks, see how my hair responds, and then I guess I'll touch back in and let you guys know. Anywho, let's get started. It was interesting to see what the texture feels like because it's a mask. It's not, oh. Hmm. I, I'm okay with how it smells. I think, it doesn't matter. I mean, if I use Apogee that smells horrible and it's good for my hair, I shouldn't be tripping off this. So, wow. It's thick. Wow. Can you see that? Okay, very custard-like. So, alrighty. I'm going to start with about that much because this stuff is like $10. And what I normally co-wash with is like a dollar. Like, 
Well, you know what? That's what I co-washed with. My other leave-in conditioner was about the same. So, I mean deep conditioner. So, you get what you pay for. So, you don't want to be cheap here, I guess. Um, but I am going to try to stretch it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, when applying the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask, I pretty much followed the directions and slathered it on and smoothed the conditioner from the base of the roots in a downward motion. By smoothing it in this direction, it helps to smooth down your cuticles and makes it easier to detangle. One of the reasons I really love going under the conditioner baggie for 15 minutes prior is it makes it very easy to detangle your hair with your deep conditioner thereafter. As you'll see, I pretty much detangled the back right portion of my head and lost very little hair. Also, it's important for you guys to know that finding the proper protein moisture balance for each person's hair is different. So I'm gonna try this for a while and I'll check back in and let you guys know how it's working on my hair. Newbies, I am not saying that don't use products that have protein. That's not what I'm saying. I just wanna be clear about that because you really have to figure out what your hair likes. Meaning that some people's hair, some natural's hair likes protein. So when they use products that have protein in it, their hair thrives. Other people's hair likes moisture more than protein. It's like you have to find this balance. Um, that the signs of when you're out of balance, be it one or the other, if you have too much protein going on your hair and your hair is not feeling it, I guess, it'll be dry, it'll brittle, snap, crap, pop, rice krispies, hair on the pillow, hair coming out, just always dry. If you have too much moisture in your hair, your hair will be really soggy feeling. It will, um, when you pull on a strand, it'll just stretch and stretch and stretch and keep stretching before it snaps and pops. That means you have too much moisture and not enough protein. So you have to kind of pay attention to your hair, find out what your hair likes, and find that perfect balance. I'm going to do more research on this because I'm going to be um, buying the book, um, the, the Science of Black Hair, which is like... <laughs> People say it's like the holy grail of the natural world. Or in, uh, or actually, it's like the holy grail to black hair. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do some research on it and read up about it and then try to do a video on it and get y'all's feedback and have, you know, everybody chime in and, you know, see how they feel about it. But I just wanted to make sure that I said that because I know when you're new, you'll see a video like this and think, oh... I should not use protein on my hair at all, and that is definitely not the case. As you see, I do the Apogee protein treatment once about every two or three months on my hair. So it's not that protein's bad. I was just giving my hair too much protein without even realizing it and not figuring out why my hair was never soft. So hopefully after doing this, I'm really hoping after doing this that, you know, it will be softer and not feel so brittle because it used to be softer and feel differently so anyway that's all lots of love gotta go finish washing my hair hope this is helpful please if it is thumbs up the videos you guys thumbs it up and if you're not a subby please sub 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 and please join the hot castor oil hair growth challenge and invite like 10 or 15 or 20 other people to join in i really want to have a lot of people chiming in and sharing information you can post your comments if you want to on that video for the hot or um, hot oil castor treatment or you can post it on my healthy hair riddle Facebook page. So either way, just chime in and get in the conversation. Lots of love. Enjoy your journey. Mwah, mwah. Love you. Bye.